Uh, good morning. My name is Karolina Duży. Nazywam się Karolina Duży. Jestem nauczycielem, e, doradcą metodycznym języka angielskiego w Podkarpackim Centrum Edukacji Nauczycieli w Rzeszowie. Bardzo miło mi Was e, jest dzisiaj po, po, powitać w muzeum na lekcji otwartej, którą przeprowadzimy razem o Waszych miejscowych bohaterach. Are you ready? Ok. So, before we start, a little warm up. Take a look at these words on the floor. If you want, you can get up and come closer. Come closer, come closer. Take a look at these words. <coughs> okay, do you know them? Yes. Yes. Okay, do you know them all? Every word? Yes. Yes? Everyone? Perfect. Uh, I would like you to take the word that is connected to your village. Do you understand? A word that you think is connected to your village to the history of your, of Markova. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good one. Okay, that's a good one. Anyone else? Any other words? Okay, good. Any, anyone else? Any other word? Okay, okay, that's great. Do you know what this word means? Okay, do you know anyone from, the, uh, from this town that is a hero? Josef Ullmann. Great. Do you know this word? Jew. Do you know who Jew is? Jit. Okay. So, is it connected to your village? Yes. Okay, how about your? Mm, sacrifice means uh, Very Polish. good. Mm -hmm. In Polish. Okay. And do you know people who lived here that made mm -hmm. a sacrifice? For example, perfect. How about you? I saw someone means Okay, and do you know people here, or maybe have you heard about people here that had to hide? Yes. Okay, thank you. Take a seat. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, uh, can you take one and pass it down, please? Can you take one and pass it down? Can you take one and pass it down, please? Okay. Okay, I would like us all to start with describing a picture, okay? So take a look at the picture that you have here and I'm sure you recognize this picture. Do you? Do you know this picture? Okay, anyone would like to describe it please? What can you see in the picture? Hmm? Come on, who is in the picture? Can you see anyone? In the picture I can see Victoria Ulma with uh, her kids. Okay, but if you didn't know it's Victoria Ulma with her kids, what would you say? Uh, I can see the women with uh, kids. Okay, women with kids. Okay, great. What else can we say? What else do you see? What are they doing? Where are they? Hmm? What are they doing? Okay, probably they're posing for the picture. Good, Carol. Okay. Any other ideas? Where are they? Can you tell where these people are? Are they in school? No. Are they at home? No. no. So where are they? Nearby, maybe home. Okay, near the house. Any other ideas? Probably in the garden. Perfect, in the garden. On a field, perfect. Yes, you did it. Well done. Well done. Good job. Okay, please take a look at exercise three. We have words that we had on the floor before, right? Okay. So again, sacrifice. You said what is it? Tell me. Poświęcenie. Okay, very good. To rescue somebody. What is it? What does it mean? To rescue. Did you? Uh, do you remember? Uh, there was a. Yes, very good. Ocalić, uratować kogoś. Okay, great. To hide from someone. Good. Mm -hmm. Hide. Good. To ask for help. Do you know this word? Great. And now a difficult word, but we need it today. Racious. Can you repeat it? Racious. Okay. Racious is a person who 
um, was considered to be very, very special, to be um, to do good things in bad times. We say sprawiedliwe. Yes. Okay. And last one is a Jew. And you said, who is it? A Jew? Okay, great. Now, you have um, definitions. Can you match them, please? The words with the definitions. Okay? I'll give you about 30 seconds. If you need help, just uh, wave your hand. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, you're finished. Great job. Uh huh. Great job. If you don't remember some words, you can always ask if you need some help. Do you need some help? Okay. Are you finished? Yes. Good. Great job. Okay. Do you need some help with some words? Okay. Sacrifice. Poświęcenie. Mm -hmm. To rescue. Ratować. Okay. Okay. Are you finished? Yes. Okay. So, quickly. Sacrifice. What is it? Okay. Hubert. Sacrifice. Mm -hmm. To give up uh, something for better use. Very good. Okay. To rescue somebody. Any volunteers? Uh, Martin? Uh, to, to save someone from dangerous situation. Okay. Very good. To hide someone uh, from someone. Sorry. Uh, anyone? Philip? Can you? Uh, to be in a place uh, so no one can. See or find you, Ukrytia. Yes, to, so no one can see you or find you. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Uh, to ask for help. Uh, Katsper. To talk to someone because they might give you a hand. Okay, what does it mean to give someone a hand? Does it mean like this? Give me a hand? No. Yeah, but no. To help someone. Yes, to help someone. Very good. Okay. Racious. Yes, Yulia. Very good. Okay. And uh, perhaps uh, second Hubert, Jew, last one, can you? <coughs> a mem member of a people who's regional, regional in Hungary. Yes, religion is Judaism. Okay, very good. Is everything clear so far? Okay, so please take a look at the text. I have prepared a short text for you about all my family, so you're, you're a local heroes, okay? Please read this text, underline all the words you don't understand, and in a second we will talk about it, okay? I'll give you a few minutes to read. Remember to underline all the words that you don't understand. Okay, are you ready? Are you finished? Yeah. Okay, good. So, can you tell me, what did you find out from the text? You can try in Polish, it's okay, to tell me what did you understand from the text? What is it about? Uh, so maybe first Marcin and then Karol, okay? The text is about uh, Josef and Victoria Uma and uh, their family. Very good. Would you like to add anything? Uh huh. Jew uh huh. Came from the town of Weinburg. Very good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Anyone else would like to add anything to the text? And in the 1995, Josef uh, and Victoria Buma were honored with the uh, Medal of the Righteous among the nations. Yes, we will talk about it in a second. Do you know what it means to be righteous among the nations? Perfect. Yes. So it's a very, very special award. Do you know who gets this award? Award, which is Nagroda. Do you know who gets it? People who, uh, who uh, hide uh, things uh, during the World War II. Yes, and they were saving lives. Yeah. Yes, basically. Okay. Can you tell me what Victoria and Yusef liked? What did they like? Mm. Maybe girls? Just look at the first paragraph. What did they like? 
Okay, so Yosef was a boring man. He was working in the fields all the time. He didn't do anything special. Yes, he went to church and home and then to work and that's it? No way. No way. So what did he do? Kasper, do you know? He liked uh, photography. He drew on the pictures and things. Perfect. He liked photography. Okay. And what did he do with this photography? He documented every day uh, of his family life. Only family? No, and uh, citizens of Makoda. Yes, he took a lot. So we have a lot of pictures now, yes? from uh, Markova people and from the family. Okay, great. How about Victoria? She was just cooking and cleaning and that's it. Boring woman. Ah, Philip? Uh, Victoria uh, also had uh, artist interest. Yes. What kind of interest? Artist interest. So he was a photographer and she? Yes, she played in a theater. Very good. So I think they were quite special people. Okay, look at the first paragraph. Words you don't understand. What does it mean to attend courses? Uh -huh. And what is a course? Kurs, szkolenie. Perfect. Okay. To run a small farm. Because we... we Perfect. Uh -huh. Any other words? Jakieś inne słówka, których nie rozumiecie, które zapodkreśliliście w tym paragrafie? Clear? Okay, next paragraph. Unexpected guest. Who is an unexpected guest? Okay, mm -hmm. good. And <coughs> you already know what Jewish family is, yes? We said Jew is one person. Okay, and Jewish? Okay, so Jewish family, right. <coughs> and they serve their lives, yes? Who are hiding from Germans. Do you understand? Okay, any other words? <coughs> Tanning animals. Okay. When you kill an animal, you eat meat and you can use skin. Skin, yes? So first you have to get rid of meat from skin. Do you understand? Czyli, os czyli oprawiać skóry, tak? Oprawiać te skóry. Przygotowywać je do sprzedaży. So they were doing that. Mm -hmm. And also they were chopping wood. What does it mean to chop? Okay, yes. And who did these things? Joseph and who else? Who was helping them around the house? The they had Jewish unexpected... Family. Yes, the Jewish families, the Jewish were helping them in the uh, house. Okay, good. Um, do you know what it means to force someone? Okay, yes. Is it a pleasant word? No. No, it's not a pleasant word. Okay. And do you understand what it means to bury? Okay. Zakopać, pogrzebać. Great. Be honored. Very good. Okay. And we have another difficult word to commemorate. Very good. You know, a lot of good words. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, turn the page, please. You have five true or false questions that you have to answer according to the text. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. True or false questions are on your exam. So it's an exam task. Yes? I'm sorry, here you go. Okay, you have about a minute or half a minute, okay? Look at the text and answer the questions, true or false. <coughs> Do you need some more time? No, you're finished. Szymak, you're finished? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, Victoria was a famous uh, theater actress. False. 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 What's the truth? She played uh, in the theater, but she wasn't famous. Yes, and she was, well, we, I don't know if you can say she was an actress, but yes, that's true. She was not, fall, uh, she was not famous. Okay. 
Yusuf was a good photographer. True. 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 Yes, everybody know that. Okay. Uh, the Ulmas had a lot of money. False. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me what the truth is? Do you remember? They were they not were rich. rich. They had a small farm. Yes. Very good. Okay. Uh, eight uh, Jews were hiding on the Ulma farm. True. 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 That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the Goldman, the Goldmans didn't leave the attic and they spent all their time there. False. False. Okay, what was the attic? I forgot to ask you. Street. Street. Okay, yes, so it's a place uh, uh, under uh, the roof in the house. Okay, uh, so what the truth was? Where the did they go? The Goldmans worked on the Ulma farm. In yes. the pictures taken by Joseph, you can see the tanning animal and skins and chopping wood. Perfect, yes, they were helping in the farm. Very good, okay. And Vodim Shlesh wanted to rescue the Goldman family. False. 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 Who was this guy? Was he, he a good said, character? He was a blue Navy, Navy, Navy that, blue policeman. Uh, sent a message uh, to the German. Yes, yes. So he did a terrible thing. Yes, he told the Germans that Jews were hiding in the attic. Okay, that's really good. Okay, so we learned a lot of uh, very important, difficult words today. To practice them some more, please take a look at the next next task. Okay, we have words like freedom. Do you know what freedom is? What it, yes. Okay. We talked about asking for help. You know what that means. You know what who heroes are, Jews, and to hide. Yes. You know all these words. Please put them into the sentences. Okay. Okay. Are you finished? Okay. Who would like to go with the first one? Girls, come on. Paulina, can you go with the first one? A lot of Jewish families I had to hide from Germans. Good. Mm -hmm. A lot of Jewish families had to hide from Germans. Okay, number two. Uh, Patrick, perfect. In Polish, we Very good. Mm -hmm. Number three. Uh, Szymek. When you have a problem, you should ask for help. Perfect. You should ask for help. Okay. During the German occupation, Polish people fought for their freedom. Very good. Okay. And last one, Hubert. The Ulma family are heroes in, heroes in Markovia. Yes. I think you all agree with the last sentence, right? Okay. And the last task we'll do today, you will have to translate uh, phrases from the brackets into English, okay? So take a look at the sentences. If you need some help, let me know. These are all the, the words from uh, the, our lesson today, okay? So look them up on the page, you'll find them somewhere. Are you ready? Yes. Yes? Okay. So, uh, who would like to go with the first? Marcin. Uh, people who saved Jews uh, during the war, uh, the war are called the righteous among the nations. Very good. Number two? Karol? Many Jewish families were forced to leave their homes. Very good. Number three? Philip? After 1939, it was difficult to run a business. Okay, good. Uh, number four, uh, Paulina? Many Polish people helped Jews during the war despite the enormous danger. Enormous danger. Enormous. Yes, despite the enormous danger. Okay, and last one? Last one goes to Angelica. There are a lot of uh, monuments all over Poland to commemorate heroes of ordinary people. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, so to sum up, what did you learn today? What did you, what will you remember from today's class? What words did you uh, learn? Uh, what information are new for you, perhaps? Or interesting. Uh, this, uh, I learned more. I learned more about uh, the Uma family. Very good. The story. Mm -hmm, and their story. And now you can tell it in English when you meet someone from other countries. Yeah. You can tell them about your village in English. Great. Okay. Anyone else? Yes. We learned uh, the Uma family history in uh, detail. Okay. Very good. And foreign language, which is very difficult. It's a big challenge. Okay, anyone else? What words did you, Patrick, what words did you uh, learn? 
did you uh, remember? Jakie słówko ci wpadło do głowy? Racious? Rin. Racious było takie słówko, tak? Okay, good. Uh, Szymek, how about you? What word will you remember? Ask, ask for help. Okay, okay. Uh, did you like the lesson? Yes. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.